Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 39th episode of Futari wa Precure. And last episode, we had the little brother go on a errand by himself. It was something that Nagisa was supposed to do, but he's like, nah, 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 nah. I got this. Like, Honoka, like, watch me be all cool and mature and, you know, I, I, I got this. I got this. I can deliver it just fine. And then when he went to go do it, he failed a lot. And Nagisa and Honoka, who were following him the whole time, kind of had to keep nudging him in the right direction, give subtle hints about what to do next. And, you know, he still ended up in the wrong building at some point. You know, like, it was it was kind of a disaster, but in the end, I guess it was technically successful, you know? So I guess, you know, it could have gone worse. It was his first time, so I'm trying not to, I, I don't want to give him too much of a hard time, but just... Yeah, it certainly could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse, technically, I guess, but... So let's see where we're going to get with this episode. So, three, two, one, play. Back at school. Are we safe? <laughs> Is she, though? <laughs> Oh, what's special about today? Since it's some. Yeah, what's what's up? Oh, an announcement. Oh, well, wow. Okay, con congrats, Yoshimi. I. That's pretty sudden. Uh, <laughs> no wonder she's in a good mood. And cut to opening. Q a pudi q a pudi q a pudi q a pudi t de q a q a futari wa pre q a. So yeah, Sensei Sama is getting married. I mean, to who? That's a big question. It's not to one of the bad guys, is it? Didn't we have a thing way back in the day with, uh, you know, teacher cr uh, te cr crushing on a villain? Like the uh, the one with the crazy hair. Your best, my best. Because I do vaguely remember that. Q a pudi q a pudi q a pudi q a pudi t de q a q a futari wa pre q a pudi q a pudi q a ba ba. And back at our evil mansion. Oh, we're playing chess. Did he just move his king? Ah, uh, well, you lost. You mean uh, Popo? <laughs> what? Tiny prince. It's not a prince in chess, is there? Like, I'm not an expert at chess or anything, but I know the basics of how the pieces move and everything. You know, there's bishop, rook, pawns, knight, queen, king. Dripping sweat, huh? Hey, lunchtime. The best part of any school day. You get a break from class and you get food. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's what they meant by the prince comment, the tiny prince. <laughs> yeah, our, mon our monitor computer parts monster. Yeah, suspiciously fast. Oh. I don't think so. 
I think we're jumping to conclusions really fast here, guys. Maybe we should ask her before we jump to conclusions and... <laughs> oh. Did she just say Ma three times? Because that's Shiho's thing. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad somebody's mentioning that before we get too far into this. Okay. Because there are some anime that would drag that out for the whole episode. So I'm glad we're talking about this now. We like you too. <laughs> that was a pretty cute laugh. That was a very Nagisa laugh. <laughs> Life goes downhill after you get married. You look like you're very deep in thought, Sensei. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be ideal. Or give her something that she uses in the classroom, that'd be pretty cool too. We can make a... I mean... Good question. Guess we'll have to think about that. What about it? Of course, what Nagisa focuses on. <laughs> And then they get divorced a year later. <laughs> Had a feeling that's where he was going to take it. Ah, these two. I thought that dog barking was coming from real life for a second. Chutaro has had hasn't had much screen time lately. Maybe we could go visit her once in a while. Go hang out at her place. Oh. Nice catch. Are we going to make her a cushion? <laughs> it's always interesting having anime characters talking about my country. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a great idea. I think we got a we got a winner. I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's take a look. Oh wow, <laughs> BG Tsubu, like like a certain anime that I'm also watching right now. <laughs> Was the pose really necessary? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna wonder what's going on over here, but we gotta keep it secret. 
He needs to. Sampa. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure that was the best excuse ever. And Amigo, that was also relevant to that Bijutsubu anime. <laughs> you guys are so silly. <laughs> that might have been the silliest moment in the whole show. Yeah, that was suspicious. That was really suspicious. What are you doing, Popo? Are you having fun? Don't hurt yourself, Nagisa. You wanna you wanna poke your finger too? Sewing requires a lot of patience, which you don't have, Popo. I don't have either. <laughs> Hide amongst the stuffed animals, the best camouflage. I am making a present for my teacher for her wedding. <laughs> Mother being helpful. <laughs> and suddenly it's better. We just let her do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actual blushing from a hump. It's actually pretty cute. We're on the same page. That's just that was actually a really nice mother daughter moment. I quite like that. We could use more of those. Should have known she'd not guess I would take it there. <laughs> Maybe we should stab her with a needle to make her stop. Wait, so is Prick referring to, like, actually stabbing the finger? Because, yeah, that is technically... Prick is a word for that. Well, technically Prick can mean something else, too, but... In this context, is probably what it means. Ganbare ato ichinichi, I think that's how that's read. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta take the skirt off. <laughs> Freaking Nagisa. Everyone's so excited. It's really nice to see. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, you can definitely tell this is a place for a wedding. And there's our bride. Looking lovely. Oh, wow. Even got like a cool kimono over there. Which is funny because it's obviously a Japanese, traditional Japanese outfit next to a more Western outfit. The Western wedding dress, you know. So that's kind of funny. And of course, the bad guy's got to be involved. I should have known. Oh. I, a, a fancy trick. Are you not, are you not, are you not impressed? I'm impressed. I mean, you can't do that. For sure. Yeah, but we're probably gonna have to battle during the wedding. Soon. Yeah, we're almost at 14 minutes, so this is about when we usually battle. You're not the only one. Yeah. What? Oh, wow, that looks really, really tasty. 
Never mind, never mind. It looks so good though. How could you lie to me like that? <laughs> uh, did the cake just attack us? He has come to play. He's come to ruin the wedding. Yeah, you can't. This is this is not okay. You can't just ruin the wedding like that. This is Yoshimi Sensei's special day. Not gonna let you just make a mess of things. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Uh, you better not mess up the presents. That is one thing I will not forgive. Good thing it's not easily breakable. But, yeah, we gotta go beat him up for that. Like, peace was never an option. This guy just dodging our punches. <sighs> He huffed and puffed and blew that door down. <laughs> Just through the roof. Was that even necessary? <laughs> yeah, could you go away? <laughs> Like, if you could just go away, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're actually getting something done. He didn't touch that. Here comes the bride. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Why do you just have to keep breaking stuff? <sighs> yeah, the nerve of this guy. Do you? That's just your opinion. Your opinion is wrong. Tell him, Honoka. You tell him to, Nagisa. Uh, and that was his rebuttal. Uh, really hard to defend against, which is blowing. <laughs> Honoka had a much better landing than Nagisa did. At least they're not, you know, messing up this area. <laughs> what was the point of breaking the pot? <laughs> I hope that's true. <laughs> it's got the music playing and everything. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how much this is going to do, but I'm hoping for the best. Marble Screw hasn't been super effective against these guys, but... Maybe if we, maybe if we put extra friendship into it. Oof. Your win versus our friendship, what which will win? That's my best. Mid Jedi. Oh, he's even blowing even more wind. I love Honica's passionate voice. Yeah, let's see you like the extra feelings edition of the marble screw. Ah, Kaioken times 10. <laughs> there we go. How do you like that? There's a dose of happiness for you. So yeah, we actually didn't manage to make the marble screw work. Yeah, hopefully that thing's still okay. There it is. <laughs> All the happy students. <laughs> I thought they were gonna smash into each other. That would have been funny, but... There you go. There it is. <laughs> Even got like a big old heart in the middle. Congrats, Sensei. Hope you have a happy life. <laughs> uh, just trap them. <laughs> They look so mildly confused. Like, why did my students just wrap me up? Oh, okay. <laughs> High five. Oh, she did the little okay. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Bounced off the head. Not, not, Nagisa got it. <laughs> well. I'll be ready to get married, Honoka. <sighs> like how I just bounced off of his head. Yeah, I don't think I ever, I think more so than any other episode, the students were in such a good mood this episode. <laughs> like, there were so many shots of them just being happy, smiling, running around, just being in high spirits. It was, it was nice to see. It was a really nice episode. Like, there was such a mood of happiness, and then the bad guy just shows up and tries to ruin it. But we wouldn't let him do that. We marble screwed him right to that window. Could, could, could. And then we just have our preview. So, that was the 39th episode of Futariwa Precure. And this episode was the wedding. 
right? Sensei, she was obviously in a good mood for some reason, you know, not making a big deal out of Nagisa being late. And I was wondering what exactly was so special that she was talking about, but she mentioned it was the the wedding. She was apparently getting married to somebody that we didn't really, we didn't know him, just some guy that she apparently likes. So, you know, they get married pretty, pretty suddenly, right? So everyone in the class is pretty excited about this. Especially after they, after they found out that she wasn't leaving. Because that was a bit of a fear that she would quit a te teaching job and stuff. But luckily she reassured us pretty early on in the episode that that wasn't going to happen. Which is good. And at that point it was just a matter of doing something for her, right? That class wanted to give her a present. Something that's, you know, handmade that the whole class could participate together to make. And they decided to make a quilt in the end. So... As far as ideas go, I think that was one of the better ones they could have possibly come up with, right? They have club, they have, some of their classmates are like in different clubs, like we have art club girls, we have, you know, cosplay experience girls, like everyone, they were able to kind of contribute different aspects to it and just come together and make a very nice present, right? We even had a nice scene of Nagisa's mother helping her with the with the sewing with the quilt, you know, because Nagisa was not great at it. So mother being there for her, giving a little bit of help, you know, some cute blushing from her as well, you know, talking about the subject of marriage and stuff. But it was a really nice scene, really nice scene for sure. And like I said, the bad guy decided to try to ruin things. Well, it wasn't his goal to ruin the wedding. He just doesn't care, you know? He is selfish. He doesn't care about the feelings of anyone else. He just has a very single-minded idea of darkness, consume everything. I got to get the power so to make that happen. Nothing else matters. So screw you guys. That's pretty much what his philosophy really boils down to. He just doesn't care about anything but himself or he doesn't care about anything but his single goal of consuming the world in darkness and all that. So we're just not on the same page. We're just, we don't, we don't agree on this and we had to defeat him and we did, you know, we didn't even need Popo's extra power boost. You know, we just marble screwed him and it was enough, which is pretty cool. It just goes to show you if you put enough feelings into it, you know, you can do pretty much anything, right? The power of friendship and all that. So I think he, hopefully he learned a lesson from that, but he probably didn't. And eventually, yeah, after we resolved that, everyone was able to come together. We gave her the quilt. We even, like, wrapped the two of them together in it. And also, he wasn't transferred. So, overall, really happy, happy ending. And that one scene, when Sensei walked into the classroom, and everyone was trying to, you know... To hide the fact that they were making a present for her and they just ended up acting really silly that was probably one of the funniest scenes of the show Def definitely this is the silliest scene of the show but I, I i quite liked it but yeah that was the episode we'll see how things go in the next one next time so until then bye bye thank you for watching and a special thanks to snokey and ryan for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.